With your first news at 6 Sports, here's Ben Dacu. Back in August, you, Mary, announced the hiring of Amy Schmeckpepper as the university's new head softball coach. The road ahead seems difficult for the rebuilding Marauders, yet the players and their head coach remain hopeful. It's been an exciting se season to see how much we've grown from the past two years. Um, I think that the girls have really bought in this year and it's influenced, uh, influenced us a lot on the field. A lot of the girls I have on the field are are brand new as far as getting a substantial amount of playing time um, so that experience bringing that part in um, as well as like I said all the adjustments of me being a new coach and uh, just the different expectations we're setting um, how I operate how I run things. Marauders are currently sitting at the bottom of the NSIC standings with 14 games left on their schedule that leaves plenty of time for coach Schmeckpepper and her program to go on a run to close out the year. You, Mary, had not played a game in Bismarck since April 23rd. Today, that changed as the Marauders hosted MSU Moorhead for a doubleheader. You, Mary, still looking for their first conference win as they finally return home. Here we go. You, Mary, and MSU Moorhead. Top of the first, Moorhead opens the scoring as Azalea Lopez singles into left field. Chloe McKinney is going to score. one nothing Dragons. Top of the second now. It's 2 nothing Dragons in the top of the second. Lopez bangs a three-run shot deep to center field over the wall. 5 nothing Dragons in the second. Now we go to the top of the third. Here's Evie Evans. She's going to hit a home run of her own. That is good for a solo shot. 6 nothing MSU Moorhead in the top of the third. Now to the bottom of the third. Here's Janelle Bergman. She's going to sneak one right by the shortstop and Mackenzie Reinhardt. She's going to hustle home. She's going to score. Marauders are going to lose this one 9-1. Game two didn't go so well for you, Mary, either. MSU Moorhead took a 9-2 win in game two of the doubleheader to complete the series sweep. The Marauders' next game will be on Saturday against Winona State here in Bismarck. With the final four over and done with, it's now time for the Frozen Four. The semifinal matchups are being held in St. Paul tonight. Last year's champs Quinnipiac lost to Boston College in the Springfield Regional Final. They are out. There will be a new national champ this year. The Denver-Boston University game is currently underway. Boston University is tied 1-1 late in the third with the Pioneers. And the second semifinal, Boston College will tangle with Michigan. The championship will be played on Saturday, and we're going to have highlights of the Denver BU game at 10. It's always amazing that they only get one day of rest between those games. Those things wear you out. Need more rest. All right. We'll be right back after this.